Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Foul play. Billionaire couple linked to Clinton Foundation found dead under mysterious circumstances. The suspected murder late last year of two billionaires tenuously linked to failed Democrat presidential nominee Hillary Clinton's corrupt Clinton Foundation has conspiracy theorists convinced she and her husband, former President Bill Clinton, orchestrated their killings. According to the Canadian Broadcasting Network, Billionaire husband and wife Barry and Honey Sherman were found dead by a real estate agent in the basement of their Toronto mansion on December 15. The source said their bodies were in an upright seated position on the floor near an indoor pool, the CBC reported. Police deemed the deaths suspicious but have said little else since their investigation began. The suspected murder late last year of two billionaires tenuously linked to failed Democrat presidential nominee Hillary Clinton's corrupt Clinton Foundation has conspiracy theorists convinced she and her husband, former President Bill Clinton, orchestrated their killings. According to the Canadian Broadcasting Network, billionaire husband and wife Barry and Honey Sherman were found dead by a real estate agent in the basement of their Toronto mansion on December 15. The source said their bodies were in an upright seated position on the floor near an indoor pool, the CBC reported. Police deemed the deaths suspicious but have said little else since their investigation began. Honey struggled with her killer or killers. She had cuts on her lip and nose, and was sitting in a pool of her own blood when she was discovered. However, there was comparatively little blood apparent on her upper body clothing, suggesting that she had been face down on the tile bleeding, for some time before being bound to the handrail in an upright position, the source said. As noted earlier, the Sherman's link to the Clintons is tenuous. Barry was the founder of Canada's biggest generic drug manufacturer, Apotex, and according to the media, Apotex previously donated medicine to aid initiatives linked with the Clinton Foundation in Haiti and elsewhere, as reported by BuzzFeed. A press release published by the Clinton Foundation after Hurricane Maria ravaged Puerto Rico last year seems to confirm this. Under a list of the companies that donated medicines and supplies, the foundation specifically named Apotex Incorporated. Because of this connection, conspiracy theorists believe the Clintons orchestrated the murders of Barry and Honey Sherman. As evidence, they point to their long-held belief that the Clintons likewise played a role in the murder of former Democrat National Committee staffer Seth Rich. The murder of Rich two years ago led to conspiracy theories that the Clintons were involved in Rich's murder, according to the Daily Wire, though Rich's family thereafter slammed such conspiracy theories as attempts to politicize this horrible tragedy. The Daily Wire noted that conspiracy theorists also maintain similar theories about the deaths of longtime Clinton ally Vince Foster, former DNC political director Paul Tully, former White House intern Mary Mahoney and a number of other individuals who were either closely or only tenuously linked to the Clintons. A new report published this week by the gossip website Radar Online claim sources say the Shermans were actually killed by bitter business rivals. Well known in Canada. Barry made billions in the pharmaceutical industry, often at the expense of his competitors, Radar reported. Barry would often wait for patents to expire, and make a generic drug to undercut other companies, said a source close to the investigation. Surprisingly, the Daily Beast seemed to confirm this angle, reporting that the couple had many enemies, particularly in the business world. What conspiracy theorists wonder, though is whether they had enemies in the political world as well, enemies like Bill and Hillary Clinton, for instance. What do you think really happened to them? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.